everything begins when Priam is the king of Troy and Hecuba is his queen. At first, things go well for them. They have a daughter, Cassandra, and later a son, Hector. Then, after some more years, they have a second son. His name is Paris. But when this child arrives, Hecuba is not happy. What's wrong? Priam asks. I'm afraid, Hecuba answers. I see Troy in flames years from now, because Paris brings disaster to us. Priam takes away his young son fast. He speaks quietly to one of his men, Agelaus. Take this child into the mountains. He must die there. So Agelaus takes Paris to Mount Ida. But he cannot kill the young boy there. You can live here with me and help with the sheep when you're older, Agelaus says. He gives the child to one of the women in his country house. Then he goes back to Troy. He gives a dead dog's heart to Priam and says, My king, your son is dead. Here's his heart. Good work, Agelaus. Priam smiles. So Paris lives on Mount Ida. When he is young, he helps with Agelaus's sheep. He is a wonderful shepherd boy. And he's very honest, too, Agelaus says. Soon, everybody in the country knows about Agelaus's son, the honest young shepherd. In Greece at the same time, King Peleus of Thessaly is happy. He asks the gods and goddesses from Mount Olympus to his house. Why? Because he is marrying Thetis, a young sea goddess. Peleus asks all the gods to the wedding. But he forgets one of the goddesses. Her name is Eris. She is the goddess of disagreements. After the wedding, Peleus, Thetis, and the gods and goddesses sit at a long table. I'm hungry. Let's eat. Zeus, the king of Olympus, says to everyone there. Just then, Eris arrives. Goddesses, here's something for you, she cries. She quickly puts a golden apple on the table. Then, with an angry laugh, she leaves. Hera, the queen of Olympus, takes the apple in her hand. I can read something on it, she says. What? Aphrodite, the love goddess, asks. Hera looks at it carefully. For the most beautiful, she reads. But... Who's that? Athena, Zeus's daughter, asks. Let's ask Zeus. Hera laughs. She quickly gives the golden apple to him. Hmm. I can't say. 
Zeus answers, "We need help from an honest man, I think." Listen, Hermes cries. There's a very honest young shepherd on Mount Ida. Let's ask him. All right, Zeus says. He puts the golden apple in the messenger god's hand. At once, Hermes takes the goddesses Hera, Athena, and Aphrodite to Mount Ida. Soon. Hermes and the goddesses meet Paris. Hermes gives Eris's apple to the young shepherd. He tells Paris all about it. Now look, and please tell us, who is the most beautiful goddess of them all? He says. The three goddesses smile at Paris. Choose me, Hera says, and you can be a great king of many countries. Choose me, Athena tells him, and you can win all fights and learn great things. Choose me, Aphrodite calls. And you can marry the most beautiful woman. Paris gives the apple to Aphrodite. At once, Hermes and the three goddesses leave for Mount Olympus. Not long after that, one of King Priam's messengers visits Mount Ida. Priam calls all the young men in the country to Troy. He tells Paris, "Why?" The young shepherd asks, "For the Trojan Games." The messenger answers. So Paris says goodbye to Agelaus, and goes to Troy. But the old man goes after him. Paris runs very fast and well. He is the best runner in the Trojan Games. King Priam gives the first prize to him. What's your name? The king asks. I'm Paris. The young shepherd answers. And I come from Mount Ida. Priam suddenly looks at him differently. Are you my son? He asks. Agelaus is standing near them. He quickly tells the king everything. Priam is very sorry for his past deeds, so he is not angry. With Agelaus, Paris, my boy, you're alive. He cries happily. You must come home with me. So Paris goes and lives in Troy with Priam, Hecuba, Cassandra, and Hector. Then one day, Priam says. Son, you must go at once to Sparta in Greece. You must visit the Spartan king, Menelaus, for me. Paris goes across the sea to Sparta, but old King Menelaus is not there. He's in Mycenae. His young queen Helen says. He's visiting his brother Agamemnon there. Agamemnon is the greatest of all the Greek kings. But please stay here and talk with me. Helen is very beautiful, so Paris stays. At the same time, in Thessaly, King Peleus 
and Queen Thetis have a son. His name is Achilles. An old priestess tells Thetis, You must be careful. One day, your son Achilles must go and fight in Troy, and he must die there too. Thetis is afraid. She takes Achilles down to the dark river Styx. Then she takes her son's left heel in her hand, and she puts him under the water for a minute. After this, nobody can kill him with a sword, but his left heel stays weak. In Sparta, Paris and Helen talk happily. I love you, Paris says. I love you too, Helen answers. Then come to Troy and marry me, Paris cries. All right, Helen smiles and she leaves with him. When Paris brings Helen of Sparta home, his sister Cassandra is not happy. Disaster! Now the Greeks must come for Helen. I see Troy in flames and all our family dead! She cries, but nobody listens to her. Paris marries Helen that afternoon. From that day, she is Helen of Troy. When Menelaus comes back from Mycenae to Sparta, Helen is not at home. Where's the queen? He asks. He is very angry when he learns. He goes and tells his brother Agamemnon. We must fight the Trojans. Agamemnon cries angrily. We must bring Helen back. The Greek fighters are coming across the sea in 1,000 ships. The Trojans hear of this and go into Troy. They close the town gates and wait for war. After many days at sea, Agamemnon's men arrive on the beaches of Troy. That night, they sleep in their tents on the beach. The next day, Menelaus and Odysseus, king of Ithaca, go to the town. They want to speak to King Priam but the Trojans do not open the gates to them. Priam's messenger tells the Greeks, Helen of Troy is happy here, so leave us and go home. Menelaus and Odysseus go to Agamemnon's tent. They tell the great king everything. He is very angry. So the Trojan War begins. For years, the Trojans stay in their town. They come out and fight. Then they go back and sleep. For years, the Greeks wait on the beaches. They fight every day, and they eat and drink at night. After many long years, young men are old. Boys are now young men. But the Trojan War doesn't stop. One day, Paris and Menelaus meet in battle. All the Greek and Trojan fighters watch them. Paris is weaker than Menelaus, but
but he is faster. In the end, Paris is afraid. He runs away from Menelaus into Troy. The Greeks laugh at him and call him a weak boy. After that, Helen stops speaking to him. Back in Greece, Achilles is now a young man. With his best friend, Patroclus, he wants to fight the Trojans. But his mother, Thetis, doesn't want to lose him in the war. On the Trojan beach one day, Odysseus asks a priest, How can we win this war? Bring Achilles here, the priest answers. So Odysseus goes to Greece for Achilles. Before Achilles and Patroclus leave for Troy, Thetis arrives. She gives some golden armor to her son. At first, Achilles does well in Troy. He kills many Trojans. Then, he and Agamemnon have a disagreement. Achilles brings back a Trojan woman from one battle, but Agamemnon takes her. After that, Achilles stays angrily in his tent. Under Priam's son, Hector, the Trojans begin winning the war. So Patroclus visits Achilles. Please come and fight, he says. No, Achilles answers. But he gives his golden armor to his friend. Patroclus wears it. In battle, Hector sees the armor. Hey, Achilles! He cries angrily. Hector fights and kills young Patroclus. After that, Achilles fights and kills Hector. He takes the Trojan's body back to his tent. That night, Priam comes. He asks for Hector's body, but Achilles says no to him. Days later, the Greeks get in their ships and go. They leave a big wooden horse on the beach. What a wonderful horse! horse. Oh, horse. Wonderful. The Trojans cry. They take it into Troy. But when the Trojans sleep, the Greek ships come back. Odysseus and his friends come out of the horse. They open the town gates to Agamemnon's men. Soon, Troy is in flames. Trojans and Greeks fight. Paris hits Achilles in the heel with one of his arrows. It poisons Achilles and he dies. Then the Greeks kill Priam and Paris. And they find and take Hecuba, Cassandra, and Helen. That night, all the different old prophecies from before come true. <laughs> <laughs>